I'm going to talk about the European Space Agency's plans to build a moon base and when I think this might actually happen. The European Space Agency, Russia, and China all want to build a base on the moon and chances are that they'll be constructed by 3D printers. When I first came across an article about this, my first thought that it was a silly idea. But after looking into what 3D printers can do, a 3D printed moon base is actually a great idea. How is it possible? Let's find out. Welcome to Neoscribe, research in the future for you so you don't have to. If you're new to my channel, I cover topics such as space exploration, robotics, and all things future. So if you want to know how cool life will be like in the future, then hit the subscribe button and notification bell so you don't miss out. From cars to houses, you can make just about anything from 3D printers these days. And the European Space Agency, ESA for short, wants to build a 3D printed moon base, which they call Moon Village. It seems crazy to imagine a moon base constructed by 3D printing, but there are already amazing 3D printed construction projects happening here on Earth. The San Francisco company Apis Core 3D printed a house in Russia in 24 hours. And ESA believes that 3D printing is the best approach for the moon base because the cost of sending anything to the moon Moon is extremely extremely expensive. While cost estimates may vary, according to Moon Express business plan, sending something to the moon will cost 1.5 million dollars per pound. At that rate, delivering 10 15 foot steel beams would cost 90 billion dollars. How about something lighter though, like lumber? A bundle of pressure treated 2x4s would still cost 7.4 billion dollars. That's why printing a base with the materials already on the moon is a brilliant solution for avoiding launch costs. And that's a exactly what ESA is working on. Since 2013, ESA has been collaborating with the International Architecture Studio, Foster & Partners to determine the feasibility of creating a base on the moon. Foster & Partners have developed the design for the base already. Uh, it's a catenary dome with a cellular structure to guard against pieces of debris and space radiation. ESA has made demonstration blocks that will be used on the moon structure using UK's monolite D-shaped 3D printer. They took basaltic rock from a volcano in central Italy, which is 99.8% resemblance to lunar soil, and mixed it with magnesium oxide, which made the 3D printed material. Then, layer by layer, the printer will construct the structure of the moon base. In April 2017, China National Space Administration CNSA, announced that they'll be working with ESA to create the moon village by the 2020s. Hopefully we'll find out more details down the road, and in December of 2016, after a two-day meeting in Lucerne, Switzerland, the director General of the ESA, John Dietrich Warner, said, We are now having a list of actors worldwide who would like to participate in this Moon Village concept. There are ideas of companies, not only ideas, projects of companies to go to the Moon, and they want to be a part of this community. We are joining forces. There are companies offering payloads, there are public entities going to the Moon and offering payloads. Even NASA is a part of this. Notice that Warner said that NASA is a part of Moon Village. Vice President Mike Pence, the chair of the National Space Council, Council announced that the United States will turn their attention to the moon as their first target for manned space missions. The focal point of NASA's new direction is the Deep Space Gateway, which will be a lunar space station and will serve as a spaceport for the deep space transport and will also serve as a logistical hub and platform for exploration missions on the lunar surface. And on October 26, SpaceNews.com reported that ESA is interested in contributing to the Deep Space Gateway. I made a video about the Deep Space Gateway, so if you want to learn more about that, click on the notification card at the top of the screen. So pieces are falling into place to actually have a moon base and I think this is awesome. I think we'll see Moon Village become reality by 2029 as a Deep Space Gateway's construction is slated to be completed by 2026, leaving three years for ESA to develop their module, launch and deliver the 3D printer on the lunar surface, and then complete the base. But I want to hear from you, do you think Moon Village will become a reality? If so, do you think the moon base will be built by 3D printers comment below i hope you enjoyed your journey if you did please leave a like and if you're interested in space exploration robotics and all things future then join the neoscribe tribe and subscribe i am neoscribe and this is the end of our journey